Hey, what happened, mate? What happened? What happened? You can't park there, bud. You can't park there. What are you doing? Another epic Central Australia episode. This time, heading straight into the iconic, dusty red centre of Northern Territory, Australia. An extraordinary vast landscape of desert plains, rocky gorges and home to some of Australia's most sacred indigenous sites. With Nick, Sean, Dad, Demi and all the kids on the adventure, we end up finding a couple of breathtaking waterholes to take a dip in, cook up tasty pizzas on the fire and manage to get the GQ and OP2 bogged not once, but over and over. Stick around to the end, you don't want to miss out on all the magic. Proudly supported by Ultimate Nine, Tread, Opus Campers, Superior Engineering, and in part by. And we're back, continuing our Central Australia six week trip. Kicking this episode off at Mount Dare Hotel, where we just finished off the previous episode, the Simpson Desert Run. So we're just in there finishing up. We had a pub feed for lunch, a couple of drinks, an icy pole, sat in there a few hours away from the flies. And then the plan is we're going to head up towards Alice from here. It's 1.20 now, so not sure what we'll get up to the Savo, if we'll see much, but I'll film what I can and then we'll probably find ourselves a nice camp somewhere up the road tonight. Only about 10 minutes up the road from Mount Dare, which is South Australia. We hit the Northern Territory. We'll keep punching north. I'll see you in the NT. <laughs> Don't steal my line. Now I'm in the NT. So we just passed through the town of Fink, which is an indigenous community out here. This is where they have the Fink Desert Race, so it's pretty cool. We're heading along the main road, but then next to us is the Desert Race Track, where they fly along here 200 kilometers an hour in those trophy trucks when they have that annual race out here. So it's pretty cool to be out here and see it all. on the map a little diversion off the track on our way up came in to check out this bit of an old I don't know uh, homestead or something pretty cool cool remains of maybe even old house or the pillars of it there and still a little shack bit of what used to be out here pretty cool to see lots of stuff all over the ground here you go in and go in have a little look just don't get mad if you get tetanus Climbed up the top, long way down. What do you reckon, Sean? Not a bad spot up here. Spot, Don't fall down. Pretty cool spot to check out. Yeah, have a look at it. You can see the hills. We could even camp just over there if we wanted. That's super cool. Everyone's having a turn of climbing up. Birdo's up there now. There's a big dirt patch here just down from that tower. So we're just gonna camp here the night. Nice flat spot and it's 5.30. These flies are just relentless through to, oh, don't know, 
Sun's just gone down, but they're still out. A bit longer and they'll hopefully disappear. The outback is so beautiful. Once the sun goes down, it seems to hold a light for quite a long time as well. So you can just sit and enjoy it for ages. The flies have disappeared now too. And how's that moon coming up? I don't think it's quite full. Maybe one more night we'll have full moon. Because this is the old Garn Railway, you got all these uh, railway pins all along the track everywhere. They sit all on the road. Yeah, just keep an eye out for them. I mean, driving along the track, they're everywhere. Beautiful morning, we're all packed up camp. I was also thinking that's the first time I've ever camped in the Northern Territory. Most of us, except for Dad. Dad's spent a fair bit of time camping in the Northern Territory, but for the rest of us, that's the first ever. It's so red out here. You can see why they call it the Red Centre of Australia. But we're going to continue up the road north towards Alice. Day nine, mate. Hey. Day nine, brother. Day nine, brother. Day nine, brother. Day nine. Here we go. Pretty cool little mountain peak and view from there. We just climbed up the top and had a look. This outback scenery is just so amazing when you've never been out here before and you get to see it all for the first time. So cool. Next stop is Owen Springs Reserve Tourist Drive, four wheel drive only. We're going to head out here for a drive. I was happy not to film it, but first time for the trip I've done. Well, that's the spare on. This one destroyed. Has a big gouge in the side wall. There it is, there. Just literally let go on the road. Not sure what happened, but I've called ahead to Alice and they've got a tyre in Alice for me that I'll pick up in a day or two. Having a swim out here ain't looking too promising at the moment, it's pretty dry. Pretty cool spot, but with all these gorges and cliffs around us, all the red rocks. This is where Shad spent a few hours out here in the middle of the day with his camper bogged on the river rocks. Rookie mate, rookie I tell you. Must be land cruiser driver. I think they can go anywhere and they can't. That's it, they've only got big fuel tanks, that's the only good thing. Well. What have we got, Sean? Oh, mate, two diesel motors. They still running? Oh, yeah, just checking the oil on them. Still got oil. Perfect. Should, should just start. So, what are these bore motors? So, these are these to pump bore water out. Yep. Yeah. So, obviously, your big pumps and all that. Just a big pulley attachment onto it. Yeah, mate, nice. She's ready to go. Haunted tree bore. This side was originally used as a cattle camp by drovers. A few bits and pieces here to check out. Remains the old boar. Well, no water though. We will not be swimming here. Protected heritage area. What was that taller? Home set, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so just a little bit further up the road, we got the old homestead. This is a significant historic site. William Gilbert established one of Central Australia's first cattle stations here in 1873. They painted it that car to hold it together. Could have come here 2010 mate, could have walked in there. Look, 1939, it was full, full veranda and water tank. Replace and... out of mortar and in, in stonework. What have we got here? Blacksmith shop. Oh, about the smack of the hammer. The blacksmith shop was likely built in the late 1880s. It is of rubble masonry construction would have probably... Hey Gary, you know this bloke? He ran from your time. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it to me now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, these nails are from your time too. This one's outside the fence. <laughs> Once it's outside the fence, it's not protected. Beautiful. 
That, that's like a nice eight gauge nail there, mate. Relics everywhere, mate. Fill your pockets up, quick, boys. <laughs> Fill your pockets up, there's metal everywhere. We're out of that Owen Springs Reserve. We've jumped over into this West McDonald Ranges. So we're heading out here for a look. May or may not get a swim, depending on how dry it is. And hopefully find a nice camp at least. Absolutely beautiful scene out here again. Holy hell, we actually got a bit of water down there. Waking up this morning, waking up before it's getting nine. Got a heavy on my shoulders, tracking down some moments back. In bit of water down there on the left, building up. Yeah, some sort of reeds in it, but there's oh, yeah, a bit of water, eh? Hey? Getting close to swimmable in there. Yeah, just gotta watch out for them crocodiles. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line. Probably be a pretty nice sunset with this big uh, double bluff thing going on. Yeah, I reckon we'll get ourselves a good camp spot out here, mate. It'll, it's going to light up. We made it to the water hole there, but the water is fairly dirty. You'd swim in it, but it doesn't look that inviting. Pretty beautiful spot here, though, in this gorge. There is a few people camped up around there. It's only four o'clock, so we're going to head back there's another little side track up to hugh gorge or something we're going to check that out may as well check it out while we're out here and then find ourselves a camp soon grabbed ourselves a camp spot here got a cool Little rock mountain there behind us. We get set up in the middle and enjoy the sunset out through there. We got the Drifter Stockton full fire pit and pizza oven set up out here in the outback tonight. The kids have been waiting the whole trip for pizza. Cool moon coming up out over there tonight. So cool. It doesn't look that great on camera, but looks pretty good in real life. We're ready, mate, cooking for that as well. So you might not have heard this one, this meal. It's uh, bacon and eggs <laughs> on a wrap with cheese. Maybe two each. Oh, brother. Who taught you how to crack an egg? <laughs> oh, saved him, but. Look at that. Mate, <coughs> you do it. You have a crack. Literally. On the bloody rock. Oh, that's it. Right. Um, Gordon Ramsay, mate. Sign us up, Hell's Kitchen. Slap him on, mate. Well, this one here, I'm going to give it a little toaster, you know. One fresh, one toaster. This is just a quick, easy one, you know, nothing crazy. It's going to be better than Wheat Bix and Toast, I'll tell you that. With a good, mate, gooiness on that thing. Yeah. <coughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Nice little bacon and egg wrap for brekkie. Yep, yep, yep. That was a pretty awesome camp spot here last night. So cool being under these big red cliffs and when that sun came up this morning, this whole area was amazing. Loving this area out here in the middle of Australia, a red centre. Scenery that I'm not used to anywhere else. We're just pretty much chilling, enjoying camp this morning. Got that fire going, been cooking up a brekkie. Starting to pack up a little bit now. 
The plan today is to head back out of here and head into Alice. We've been on the road about 10 days now. So going to get into Alice, I've got to pick up that uh, new spare tyre. And we'll probably get a night or two at a caravan park, do some washing, a little bit of grocery shopping. And then after that, we're going to come back out this way, but further out into the McDonald Ranges. Try and find some swimming holes if there's any water out this place. Hasn't really been too cold of a night either. Like this is Kai's setup. He's got the Drift Stockton swag. Um, obviously mattress, these are a pretty comfy mattress on them, but it's on the stretcher anyway, which is good. Stretcher makes any swag super comfortable. And then a sheet, and then he's got the Drifter Stockton, like nice comfy cotton sleeping bag. You've been warm enough in that, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so it's just the one sleeping bag really kept him warm. Let's do a, let's do a show, showdown of how the sleeping bag works. Get inside. I'm gonna sleep. And you've been living in luxury in there. And then once we get to Alice, I think we need to reorganise the back of these cars a little bit too. They're not too bad, but... What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> then he's got a chaos bags here, <laughs> keeping all her stuff in order. But then... Everything else. Everything else is just... Everything else is chaos. <laughs> everything else is chaos. All packed up camp. Make our way out of this West McDonald Ranges into Alice. Alice Springs and we grabbed ourselves a caravan park for a couple of nights. Relax here. There's a swimming pool. Kids can swim, a few play areas. And then we got our stuff all set up here. And the kids have been wanting to do it. What are we doing? They're try treats. And where are these ones from? India. Ooh. Choco chip cookie. What's your rating everyone? Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Pretty delicious biscuit. Eight, eight I'd say I'd say nine. Pistachio almond cookie. They're so like melting your mouthy. Really India is looking like a good holiday des destination at the moment. Just me and you though. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> nice time. We did it. Yeah. Cool. Are you excited? Mm. Hide and seek choco roll. That's a good chocolate biscuit. These are little heart classics. They melt in your mouth. These are gym jams. A biscuit with jam, do you want one? No, no, no. These remind me of jam drops. That's another try. Treats box done. Very successful box, this one. I really liked it. Yeah. Oh, I a, lot of, a lot of biscuits. India seem to be fond of the biscuits. Well, maybe that's the only treats they have. Yeah. So, Tyler got a flat toy, mate. Boom. So, I've got to undo all this. We got a new tie, you want to wheel that new tie over here? We got what we could get. It's not the same tie, but it's the same size. I've got the tedious job of getting all these out and we'll have to Mickey fresh Thompson, in these. Mickey Thompson. MTZ, mate. Well, not even MTZ, just MT. Extreme mud train. All we could get up in Alice. Everything else was a five to ten day wait. It's a Baja boss. And we're not around for that long. We'll mate, get the job done. I reckon Gary should put it on the Israel going. Look at that. I reckon that. No, I don't know. Gary's got them good years, mate. I don't know if the, the Mickey Thompson's going to keep up with them. Saturday, day 11, our first casualty for the trip. Not too bad. Oh, you have to give that a clean up, right? We'll have to give that a good clean up before we put it <coughs> together. So now we've got the fun bit. I'm going to pop this back bead off, so I'm going to try to drive over in my car. We've done this before on a little tire, it's going to have to kind of work a bit. If this doesn't work, then we're going to the tire shop before they shut. Looks 
like the tyre shop is. We didn't get the tyre off, mate, so we're going to the tyre shop. Clean these bolts up. Sacrifice for me too, flush mate. I'll get another one. Long and tedious. We're over here. We've got a new bolt. We cut a little slit in it. We've got to clean all these threads out before we put new ones in. We've got to put this bad boy on here, mate. Todd makes his magoos. You got me standing on that side and then work our way around. We've got to improvise when you're in the desert, mate. We've got a little uh, spray in a, in a cup, mate, with some water. Fits like a glove. And you see, mate, got to stop the bolts from seizing in there. Twilight didn't bring his torque wrench. I'm going to have zero responsibility. Please, I'm not tight enough. We're obviously just going to leave it as a spare. So now we've got it all on. These are all done up. Now we've got to get the back bead to pop, so. Get that rubber. Ooh. Where are we, Sean? <laughs> We're at Alice Springs KFC, mate. It says, come on through, mate. We could not go through. Couldn't, could not, could go, not through. go through. So mate. Tyler, Tyler's at the bloody caravan park eating bloody uh, carrots and shit. So we're going to go get like, we're a family get box. We're going to get a family box and um, mung it down, mate. Yeah, I'm not going to tell them, but we're going to put some in the fridge, mate. Yeah. It's going to be good. Mm. I'll get a little, little cook with bird over might even, KFC ooh, chicken. Might even get a frozen drink, eh? Hey? Oh, 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 brother. Alice Springs. Alice mate. Springs, mate. Right. Place to be, mate. Place to be. Look at that, mate. What are we getting from the menu today, Tyler, mate? What are we getting? What are we getting? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? KFC pick up window, brother. Oh, Let's get it, brother. Eh? Hey. Thank you. Oh, 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 got the goods. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, look at that, mate. The Colonel, mate. The Colonel. So while Sean and Birdo. Are up at the car organizing that tire. Demi and I are down here on the laptops working. Demi's doing Simpson Desert photos, and I'm doing the Simpson Desert episode because it's due out in only a week. So, pretty much the whole time this caravan park, I'm just editing. I'm already exhausted. I was up late last night. I was doing it all day today. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing, just so people don't think I'm like relaxing down by the pool doing absolutely nothing while Sean and Berto are fixing my car for me. I am always doing stuff. And we're back on the road again, Monday morning. Nice few days at the caravan park. Hopefully, there's some water there in a swim, but we'll see how we go. Beautiful day out here. Well up, mate. Right? We're at Ellery Creek Big Hole. And how is it? It's extremely satisfying. It's bloody beautiful, look. We've got nice clear water. Epic gorge. First proper swimming hole of come to out here in Central Australia. This is super cool, but the water's clear, huge gorge all around. The water's pretty cold, but gonna go in. What a sport. It's cold, but <laughs> we swim in much worse in the mountains over in mid North Coast, New South Wales. This ain't too bad, but yeah, it's cold. What do you reckon? Not a bad spot. First ever swim in the Northern Territory of Australia. No crocs down here, this far into Alice, for any people wondering. You gotta be higher up in Australia for crocs. This is just a beautiful, fresh water hole. Let's swim right out into this gap here. Yeah. 
on this road we're just hopping from spot to spot to check out all these swimming holes and that the next one is Orman, Ormanston Gorge I think try and get these names somewhat close to what they are beautiful day super cool scenery Ormiston Gorge. How cool is that, but Huge gorge. Big swimming hole over there, but Zeph's desperate to get in. <laughs> oh, Sean's in. Woo! Absolutely incredible place. We're just chilling, swimming, the kids are enjoying the water. This one's not quite as cold as the other one. There's a few good jump rocks up there. Man, it's cool to be out here and experience this. This gorge travels all the way down through there. Your town swimmers oh, look like they're a one piece. They are. They're all matching. One piece central. Take a video of my town. Yeah, yeah, I got one, I got one. That's a good town. <laughs> the town that can do it all. It's the wrong life. If any, if any town can do it, the naked town can do it. Yeah. Hey Sean, you know how you don't have a job anymore? You just <laughs> acquired yourself one. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop on our Red Centre tour is Fin Gorge National Park. So we left that West McDonald Ranges, maybe spent about an hour and a half on the tar. And yeah, we're now just coming in here. It's looking pretty spectacular on entrance. because we saw some brumbies and there's a baby one we finally actually saw, saw animals yeah saw animals <laughs> out in the desert so nice how cool is this drive into the Finn Gorge National Park though? absolutely sensational sick spot these horses look so cool it's about five o'clock we've just pulled up there's a main campground in this area so that's where we've come to camp super spectacular spot out here but yeah we figured we'd get set up before it got too late and sit around enjoy this afternoon i reckon it is gonna absolutely light up as that sun goes down and light up all these cliff faces so we want to be prepared and ready for that camps set up fires going dad's back there but we're gonna go for a quick walk up this mountain near camp, try and catch the sunset as it goes down over all that. I'm following this pipeline up to the top of the mountain there, but sun is just disappearing behind that. So time's a ticking, we better hurry up. We made it, just in time. Check that out, that's super cool. Couple of flies still around. It's really annoying. <laughs> How'd you enjoy the sunset? Yeah, it was good. The trek up there was pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah. We had a 14 kilo baby on me. A bit hot and sweaty. That was a pretty cool well, sunset. It hasn't been the first time this trip would be hot and sweaty. <laughs> that was a pretty amazing sunset, but yeah. out over all these mountains all around us. Yeah. Good day today as well. Yeah, uh, this is my favourite day so far. Favourite day of the trip. What yeah. are we up to? Day 13? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, really nice. Swimming in those McDonald Ranges, in those swimming holes, definitely 
if you're anywhere out this area at all you have to yeah you have to get out there go swimming in them even though it's freezing cold and you feel like you can't breathe <laughs> totally worth it guys <laughs> i wish we had i wish like we had them right here now again nice little camp there last night next morning just leaving now and we're heading all the way down into the back of this palm valley here so it's just a dead end i think it's a walking track but apparently it's pretty cool down in there so we'll go check that out this morning and then we'll come back out of this area over towards boggy hole Incredible drive through here, the scenery really is amazing in this part of the world. And it's cool, it's nothing not that hard, but it's cool to just put in low range and climb up a few rocks because I haven't done that in a while. So it's good, I'm really enjoying it out here. Made it down the end here. Not sure what there is to check out, but there's a sign over there and a bit of a walk, so I'll go over and have a look. I feel like you have to be here to really witness the magicalness of it. Like, look at those rock formations. It's just like nothing you've ever seen before. How do you guys like it? Beautiful, mate. It's beautiful. There's lots of palm trees, lots of red rocks. If you fell in, that would have made the video. Yeah, surely fall in there. We made it through to the next spot at the Fink Gorge National Park and the main reason we came here, which is this boggy hole four-wheel drive track. GoPro going with the UHF sitting next to it so if anyone's got anything good to say because I've run out of ways to talk about these red rocks out here. I've used the word beautiful and amazing and incredible 300 times now. Try magical. 
just in awe about these nice red rock riverbanks, you know what I mean? Oh, mate, these red rock riverbanks, mate, they just look fabulous, mate, you know? And you just can't go wrong. These river rocks, the red ones, oh, magical, absolutely magical, sensational, even. Let's just put it this way, would you rather be looking at these majestic red river rocks or would you be rather working at SNP Mechanical Shop? I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> We're motoring into the arid zone, that real region of these rocks around and it's a glorious place to be. I can put that in about it. Yeah, look, nice job everyone. We got some, we got some good words there to chuck in over the drone footage. <laughs> <laughs> Team effort. We give it our best shot coming out of the spell. We were saved up for it. There's a huge body of water over on our right now. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit dry out here at the moment. You can see where all the water normally lays. It looks like a boggy hole in there. That's probably why they call it the boggy hole track. I remember I was drinking till the moon shine. Oh my. Turns out that I just got just a little bit north of the Georgia line This might just happen to be the longest creek run we ever do We've actually hit the first water crossing for our trip It's a bloody huge one We're going to have to floor it oh, Just made it, just made it, that was close yeah, look, you want to give it the full bickies through there, you won't make it otherwise. Not too bad. Not too bad. My boy was made. It wasn't too bad. Escobar, me integrity's not a question. Straight up, all the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. Day one, same ones been around when the ain't funds even got enough for me. Was it changed up like they break ones? A little bit soft here, just got caught out. What I normally do is put it back to first gear low, put both lockers in, and see if it'll idle out. No front locker. No, it's probably front locker. We're still having wiring issues with the front locker on this car. The rear seems to always work. The front's a bit hit and miss. There you go, front locker's working. Bloody wiring on this front locker. Something's wrong with it. Probably a dish all but on the sand now. Yeah, right, yeah, it's bearing, is it? Mate, we'll need some treads here in a minute. Yeah, like it's just slowly digging at the back. The fun's moving, but... Yeah, it's getting a bit, getting a bit hot now too. What's the clean tire, mate? Yeah, it was just kind of burying and it was getting a bit hot sitting there revving and roaring, so chuck some treads down and see if that'll pop me up out. Yeah, yeah, then Trent might just get the job done, I reckon. We'll give it a red hot crack. Oh, would you look at them treads just put in work, mate? Yeah! Mate, got the job done then. Keep going, nothing too crazy. A little bit of excitement for the afternoon. Probably need to let a bit more air out of the tyres, and obviously, I'm dragging the trailer. I'm about 18 in the front and 22 in the rear, so I probably need to drop about two to four more front and back and probably avoid those situations. That's just Tyler checking the fences, mate. Tyler checking the fences, mate. I already built this car just to check the fences. Built just this to check the fences. Just to check the fences. That's what he got. We'll have to ask him, mate. You might have to ask uh, TJ and Mac, you reckon, mate. Even Paulie. Yeah, it might have been Paulie the way we customs. Hey, Tyler, me and Sean were just talking. Did you build that car just to come and check the fences? Yeah, mate. GQ Pajara, that's all about. Oh, love that.
Well, it looks like we made it through Fin Gorge National Park. We're coming out the other side here now. It's about, I didn't realise that it was the end of the thing. <laughs> we haven't found camp yet. But it's about 4.30. Our maps are showing a watering hole up here somewhere. So we're hoping it has water in it and we'll, we'll camp there. We'll do our 3Ks up the road. See if I can not get bogged on the way in in all this soft sand. Fair common sense for people out of the bog, mate, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, don't know how much of that I got, you know. Nice little grass spot there, or we get up over on the sand here somewhere, but yeah, there's a few nice spots about. A bit of water down there. Yeah, you know how I said about not getting bogged. I'll just pull you out, so I'll just get that chaos gear out too, do two birds with one stone. <coughs> it's gonna be uh, fun pulling you out then anyway, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, look, camp findings not going well so far. I got myself bogged again. <laughs> it's very soft out here. I'm down this bit of a ditch. I can't really go backwards or forwards, and it'll be a bit of a mystery with the tread, so I think we got some chaos recovery gear out. Bro's going to pull me up out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, call cool. out when you're ready. What do you reckon I take, I go second gear low take off? Yeah, probably. I'm just going to go first high for me. Do you want to do one more? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, one more. We should get it, I reckon. That, that worked pretty good. Alright, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Well, I'll just get up on this hill a bit. There you go, I think I'm out. You beauty, mate. Thanks, mate. Big TD power, got her. Nice flat spot here. Overlooking the water, beautiful cliff there. Birdo's setting up right down on the edge there of the rooftop tent. Where you'll set up and enjoy this afternoon here. It's a pretty cool spot. Someone had to make a little bit of drama for the afternoon. It's always gonna be you. Yeah, had to cause a scene. Tyler equals drama. <laughs> the fly is actually really bad here, so even I'm chucking my net on. <laughs> sun's just gone down, flight is still pretty brutal but I'm going to collect some firewood, get a big fire going tonight because we're not in the national park anymore, you can collect firewood once you're out of it. I had a bag in the camper trailer but I figured oh, well, I'll get some here and save that for the next spot we're in where you can't collect wood.
But he's been down having an early morning fish, catching a few. You don't know what they are, but... No, I don't know what they are. I don't exactly know what they are. What are we using for bait here, Tyler, mate? I don't know, what steak, are we? Mate. Steak, mate. Steak. Steak. <laughs> so you're using. Yeah, I've got a minute steak. What a spot down here, so cool. This big water hole, red cliffs, camp up there on the sand. Birds chirping, no one else around, we're the only ones out here. Camp's all packed up, just turn the cars on, <coughs> Birdo's off. So quickly on the map, there's Alice Springs, there's where we came through all that West McDonald Ranges and then we looped down around over here. And that's where we came into that Palm Valley. Now come down through the Fin Gorge and we're like out this other end of it now. So we're gonna follow this road out, out to this main one. Kings Canyon's up there, but we're just gonna not worry about it this trip. So we'll follow this down this highway and over to Uluru. That's the plan today. Now, we're going towards Uluru. We're going I to Uluru, mate. What do you reckon this camp's for? This is probably my favorite camp spot so far. Yeah, it's got a bit of water. Bit if of you're of eager, you can swim in it. There's a bit of reeds. A bit of reeds, but there's lots of bird life. Wow, that's annoying. I was trying not to rev too hard because the car's cold. I was trying not to just launch it across, but I should have because now I'm stuck. You see that? We, we've been driving, uh, we haven't even driven yet. Tyler's no, just get out and flat <coughs> these tyres. 30, so 30 metres away. Typical, typical Tyler Thompson antics. Yeah. Can't take him anywhere, mate. Can't right. take him anywhere, mate. I'm going to have to go and save him. We're going to have to teach him how to clutch kick, mate. Hey, what happened, mate? Hey, what happened? What happened? What happened, Mr. Crypto? You can't park there, bud. Can't you can't park there. Come on. What are you doing? I'm just trying to do my little blog, mate, and you get stuck. some more air out of the tyres that I've let them down to about 12 in the front 14 at the rear it's just this river sand's really soft with a, tra with a trailer on anyway so I'll try not to get bogged again but can't make any guarantees sand dunes again it's kind of like being back in the Simpson desert What's that moving in the distance? Oh, is that? That's Tyler Thompson. That's Tyler, is that? That's an unreleased flannel shirt. Do you reckon he should get, get some of them made up or what? This is the behind the scenes, Tomo. Do you, give us a look at that uh, unreleased flannelette there. Yeah, mate, brand this, new. This is a potential, you, if you want one of these, you comment, right? Yeah, we'll get them made. We'll get them made. This is a one of two limited edition. Yeah, it's one on one after special. this, because you're going to have to get it washed, mate. <laughs> if you want that, 50,000 likes, mate, and then four grand, you can have that. You won't even wash it, it'll be covered in sweat. So, is it on? Yeah. So, we made it out of there. Now we're airing up our tyres, and then we're heading to Uluru.
do you want to do a vlog update? We're freaking here, guys! We're at Uluru! <laughs> we made it to Uluru, touring in the patrols and MUX. We got all four cars lined up, so we're in the Sunset Car Park here. And there's the big Uluru out behind us. It's pretty incredible on the drive out here. Like when you're coming out the road and you're just seeing this rock pop up and get bigger and bigger in front of you. Don't you reckon that was cool coming out here on the road? Yeah, I was like, you better be getting this because <laughs> this is sick. It's like pretty crazy when you get here. Just this huge rock in the middle. So we're camped back at the little town, uh, about 15 kilometers, Yulara, if that's how you pronounce it. So that's the only place you're actually allowed to camp out in this area. It's Airs Rock Resort or something and it has yeah, all different stuff there. So we got a site for a couple of nights just so we can chill out here and enjoy it. We're going to do this sunset at Airs Rock all through this afternoon. What an absolutely like incredible place. It's super special to come out here and see it. Blown away. That sun's just gone down, but we popped in the cars and have driven over to the bottom of it here and we've come around the base of it now. Yeah, it's so big, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's so huge, actually, to the bottom of it. How's around the speed, just looking at it up in front of you like that, it's like a monster overhanging you. It's worth driving across the country just to see this thing on its own, isn't it? Yeah, like it uh, means a lot more to me seeing it than like I thought it would. Like I wasn't really, uh, like I was keen to come check it out, but I wasn't really look, thinking into it too much or anything. But then once you're here, you're really blown away by it. I think it's um, the most fascinating thing I've seen in my lifetime, this Ayers Rock. It's, it's really something. Yeah, you can see why people want to come out here and check it out. I put this window down and he hasn't stopped saying wow like the whole time. Yeah, so touch, luscious. Go touch it, see how it goes. Been 